and liftoff. Oh, you got off. And McLean to beat St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. The third stage will continue to burn until about uh, 8 minutes 45 seconds into the flight. Actually seeing David launch was so special, so I know that that's something that means a lot to him and, and his family and the team that got him there, so actually seeing it happen was just, it just felt like this monumentous thing that will mean so much to not only a colleague but a friend. It was wonderful. We've uh, talked quite a bit about uh, his upcoming experience and one of the main points of recommendation that I gave to him was don't get so busy that you don't take time to reflect on the personal aspect of spaceflight. What he's doing right now is incredible. Very few people have ever done it. So take time to stop and think about what you're doing for Canada, for humanity. Look out the window without a camera. Just look down at the, the planet and think about what the big picture is of, of humanity and, and uh, his family. Everything looking good so far. Good first stage performance. Sori is delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust. Everything is it's probably true to say that every single organ system in the body, bones, heart, muscles, are affected by, by weightlessness. And most of the effects of weightlessness are reversible when you get back home, but not all. I was one of those astronauts whose vision was affected by space flight. My vision has not, my reading vision has not gone back to uh, normal nine years uh, later. And then the other effects are radiation exposure. Uh, we are exposed to ionizing radiation. And there's a tiny, tiny increased chance that I could develop a certain types of uh, cancer. But uh, for me, that's a small price to pay for the opportunity to represent my country and, and space to work with top level organizations and, and people. And I do have a medical exam once per year to hopefully identify any of these nasty things that might be cropping up. What's next for you now? Well, I'm still in my basic training, so I've been doing lots of spacewalk training in the uh, neutral buoyancy lab uh, at NASA. I've been studying a lot of Russian language. I've been studying systems on the International Space Station, and I've been doing a lot of robotics um, in collaboration, actually, with Canada because we're learning how to operate the Canadarm2. Um, so I'm going to continue with that and keep learning as much as I can, more spacewalking, more Russian, more ISS training, and see if I can one day get to where David is today. David is an astronaut now. He is one.